Oh god, no, 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 no. How's he still alive? You okay? Yeah. Should have thrown him under the. Come on. The oh, gate's no. right there. Should have thrown him in the electric fence. Good shot. What about all the rangers? They're getting away. Let's get out of here. I already got one of you. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Why'd you leave the gate open? Lee! What's wrong? I thought this place was safe. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have your own Brenda's got out. you. Well, you must be the What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those oh, shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Why'd you bandits? have the gate on? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, yeah. That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. I know. Why? I still need to ask him why they turned that flipping gate on. No. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. Yeah. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. That needs a rub in its butt or something. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? I'm lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yes. Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. 
Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. I'm not gonna say that. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> they look happy. That was kind of funny. They look happy. And Kenny sure is thrusting forward. <laughs> hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. All right. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. I thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. No, I didn't want to say that. I do like Kenny. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They're storing gasoline all over the property. What was the point of that? Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Oh my god, no dip, Sherlock. Just so moist is pointy. <laughs> I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah. I better go talk to what's her face over here, Willie. Open. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. <laughs> okay. Go talk to this douchebag. Why not? Okay. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. Shut up. How could you all bring us to this place? About your dad. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... 
He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Whatever. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh... You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. I don't know about Lily. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up, Larry. The issue is, is if we would stay at the motor and we would starve, so... No corn. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Uh-huh. What about this barn? Can we go in here? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Can we? If there's not enough room nope. in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. So we can't go in there. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. That's true. Alright, let's go. Deal with some bandits. I think I've talked to everyone. Hmm, pointy. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? I think they Look, I'm they really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah, no you shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Oh, that's good. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Hopefully. Oh 
see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Hey, it can't. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Yeah, they're a little bit loud. See anybody? A little bit loud there. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. I see what I think I saw. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. some gas but I guess we don't need to look at that looks like they expected to be here a while tent looks pretty new anybody inside two sleeping bags one of them's kid sized can I go inside the tent hmm. looks like they were moving a lot of stuff What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Uh oh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Open it. Lots of it. What do you find? No. A video camera. Let me see that. No. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's yeah. see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Uh, he does not like the camera. I think... Yep, that's it. Oh, I thought that was her bunny. That was... Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? Yeah. Was more like. Oh, man. Hell? Huh? 
Don't you fucking move. 